Tina Pelto and welcome to this month's In the Know. Today I'm here with our two school resource officers, Deputy Walker and Deputy Poseda. So one of the most important things that we do for student safety is build relationships with students. So Deputy Walker, how long have you been here at the JBS as our SRO? Six years. And so what are some of the things that you do to build good relationships with students? Well, uh, myself and Deputy Posega, we, we're always walking around the school uh, in labs, different classrooms, interacting with the students. Um, we have a good time, you know. Uh, it's, uh, we, we, uh, we'll walk into a lab and uh, right away we'll have students come over and we'll just talk about what their project is and you know, the, what's going on. So really just day-to-day -day interaction with them on a, on a pretty regular basis. It, so do you feel that those relationships help students to feel more comfortable coming to you if they have a serious issue? Oh, for sure. Um, they, they feel comfortable with us um, since we see them every day. And um, yeah, I mean, we, we get all kinds of, uh, you know, not necessarily school stuff, but just, uh, you know, what, what, they're, what they're doing after school or, you know, their home life. And it's just it's comfortable. So as our enrollment has gone up, the district has decided that it was time this year to add a second SRO to our JDS family, just to make sure that we're all safe here every day. So Deputy Pazega was added this year. Welcome. Thank you. So tell us, since you've been here, what are some of the measures that we have in place that help students be safe here in the building? Uh, one, we have two school resource officers, which many schools don't have that luxury. Uh, two, there's also security guard, security personnel that are here at the school at the same time. Plus uh, the staff, I know in the past we've trained with staff here at the Lorraine County Joint Vocational School, so I know the staff has got training. What are some typical things that schools implement in this day and age? Uh, like the security cameras, where if we're able to see most, most places in the school, know that uh, nothing bad is going on, no illegal activities, and able to keep an eye on stuff, and uh, plus all the the locked doors so no one can come in here just on their own. They, they have to be let in and so we can identify who they are. So thank you both for coming in today and for sharing this information with us. I just want to thank you both for what you do every day to keep us here safe at the JVS. Thank you. Thank you.